Welcome back to another episode of He's Wrong, She's Right. Where you guys sit in your basement and complain about my wife's look because uh, you can't find anything that's attractive in your <laughs> life. Sorry for your luck. You just suck. She's not a stripper. She's not a former stripper. She's not a porn star. She's not a former porn star. She just did what most women do in the last 20 to 50 years is got breast implants because she didn't like the way that they looked after having children. Nursing for children. Yeah. Let's be clear. Yeah. So, anyways, anyway. we've got some stuff today. We're uh, we're recording the day after Mother's Day, so happy belated Mother's Day. Thank you. Happy Mother's Day to the 3.4% of women who watch this show on YouTube. The uh, 72% of you that watch this or listen to the show somewhere that Spotify syndicates. Um, I promise for the video audience, no one will look at the camera more than me. It's you, really hard to do. They say that you don't have a presence because you don't ever look at the camera. But even if okay, you... Okay, how about this? The entire episode, I will only look at the camera. Okay, so... And we'll see how it goes. Even if... Even if... We, see? I we, did it again. We, I looked at you. Even if we followed the, the template that talk shows have. Okay. The guests and the host or hosts are always looking at each other. Right. They almost never look at the camera unless they're doing a, an introduction or a segue or some sort of segment change. Right. They don't typically look at the camera. They look at each other. So, okay. Agreed. Yeah. Maybe if the cameras were in a different perspective or something, I don't know. But I'm always looking generally this direction. I'm looking all around anyways. But I'm also a little bit more used to it having to have been in commercials and shitloads of meetings and things like that where I have to be conscious of am I supposed to look at the camera or not supposed to look at the camera this feels so weird yeah. I just it feels like I'm being rude and well, ignoring you well it's okay but apparently I'm rude by looking at you and not at the camera well it's okay did you have a topic that you wanted to talk about or did you want to go right into stuff that I had pulled up you can go first I don't know how long mine are going to go so what, I don't what do know <laughs> What do you have? What do you have? This is really hard. I do have a little bit of an update regarding the Mika Miller situation. Okay. And I guess I will pull that up because right. I didn't know I was going to. Well, known as pulling that up, this podcast is sponsored by America's Technology Center of Excellence, Lemax Media. You can find the link for that down in the description. And Nona Phelps. Nona Phelps, uh, what are you? An insurance agent? Yes, I'm yeah. an insurance agent. For uh, Coastal Shield Insurance. There we go. I yeah. put it all together. NonaPhelps.com. Link is also down in the description. Make sure you click through all those links. That way I can collect your data. Yes. Yeah. Yes, please. Yep. Yeah. Um, you got your stuff pulled up? I do. Okay. What you got? Okay, so unfortunately, it has officially been ruled a suicide, which you did mention in the the last time. And there is CC uh video footage of her purchasing the gun in Myrtle Beach the day of her um i don't even know what word am i allowed to use the the day of her unaliving permanent sleep permanent sleep okay there we go um but there's a lot that is coming out that led up to that and there's speculation that the necklace that she was wearing in the video footage of purchasing this firearm her former husband widow, whatever you want to call him, widower, okay. uh, is in possession of. So he would have only gotten that necklace had he actually been there for her unaliving. They, they probably had him go uh, like identify the remains because mm. they're not going to do anything. They're not going to cremate or whatever her personal possessions. They're going to ask the family for, you know, how they want her to be dressed and then Right, but if she oh. had already filed for divorce, it would have fallen on her mother and father, possibly sister or brother, whatever the case may be, okay, but not we her. But we don't know who the police contacted, who they had contact information for. He might have been the easiest to get a hold of. So Maybe. Anyways, so leading up to, it was about two weeks before um, her permanent sleep, Um he had slashed all of her tires. She was at the tire shop getting new tires put on her vehicle. 
He had tracking devices planted on her vehicle. Did, he, did they have evidence that he physically did it? or Honestly, I, that... honestly I don't know the okay. extent. Um, and then he posted a nude photo of her on Facebook. And it, as, as he put it in his apology statement, it was only up for an hour and I shouldn't have done it. Um, but because he had blurred her nipples, because he had blurred her nipples, it doesn't constitute as revenge porn. Um, so well, unfortunately, every, every state's a little bit different on that. South so, Carolina yeah. did not prosecute for the nude photo because some he had states, blurred the nipples. Some states also have a uh, wait time for if you purchase a firearm, depending on the, mm -hmm. the type of firearm. Mm -hmm. Um, you can't make the purchase of the ammunition at the same time. So one way that people will go around that is they'll go and buy the ammunition, ammunition first. first. And then go, gotcha. Yeah. Sometimes there's also a holding period. Mm -hmm. Some states have like a one to three day hold where you go in and purchase it. And then you can't actually come physically pick it up until after that waiting period is ended. But every Well, she every bought it in different. Myrtle yeah, Beach. Yeah, yeah. She had driven from Lumberton, North Carolina to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, drove back to Lumberton, North Carolina, and then she made a call to 911 around 2 o'clock in the afternoon at the state park to let 911 know where her location was. And the, the, the whole thing is just so, so sad. And he clearly has ruined her life. And although he may not have been the one to pull the trigger ultimately he is responsible for the actions that occurred which is unfortunately probably not anything that can be prosecuted well i don't think legally we can say that he's responsible for anything so let's, let's uh tiptoe that line there fine if you insist that's the only story that I'm keeping up with. I know you're keeping up with the other story that we've reported on, but yeah. this one just really hits home for me and that is thread, really, really, really sad. That Twitter thread has gotten, just from our links uh, in the comments and descriptions, has uh, gotten over a thousand clicks through to it. So whether or not the people that clicked through actually read through the information about Mike Glover and, and his girlfriend mm -hmm. or not, neither here nor there, but a lot of people are clicking through to it and potentially finding I think the last that I saw is on Twitter. It shows you the metrics. I just looked at you again. The metrics, the metrics on Twitter are public. Okay. So don't look around. Look at the camera. I am. You're I'm looking at the, at the camera. You're either, no, you're not. You have I'm to, looking don't play it. You have to make eye contact with that one. I'm looking at this one. No, that's your single camera. This is the wide. How camera. would I know? Oh my gosh. How would I know that? Because that's the one pointed at both of us. Uh, okay. okay. So. But hold on. So he still has not been relieved as of being a pastor for the church. And that is the craziest thing to it all. Like, well, they're probably he's just um. It, doesn't he own that church or did he found it? Or so? I thought that's I thought I'm pretty sure that he founded that. Right. But it, I believe it's kind of like a chain. Like there's you know, there's somebody head in Who knows? head involved. I I pulled it up on. Typically, that's like a suspended until something else comes out but if the police and the courts have already said definitively mm -hmm. we're not looking into him there's no reason for anything then they're just they're not going to mm -hmm. they might be still watching him mm -hmm. and passively looking but if the investigation is closed the investigation is closed unless somebody comes forward with some sort of new evidence which i mean you're the one reading it i have no idea i'm just speculating mm -hmm. so um moving along then so i think i i mentioned this to you the other day um the boy scouts are changing their name do you think that's because of the bad image and reputation that they have or why like what is what what, what is the speculation behind the rebranding of boy scouts um of course, when I pull it up this time, there's so much more news about it that I, it doesn't come up right away. Um, Everything, everybody wants you to click through to it first. They don't want you. To, they don't want to tell you. Uh, da, 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 they're naming it to Scouting America. So maybe. Oh inclusivity as well. yes. Okay. As soon as you said Scouting America mm -hmm. and getting rid of the boy, it's 
girls can be included in the fun activities as well. Oh, the change comes as the organization is continuing to emerge from bankruptcy. Oh. Paying out more than $2 billion to men who said they were sexually abused as scouts. Alrighty then. Yeah. Rebrand. Okay. Wash your hands. Mm -hmm. Rebrand. Okay. So, that was fun. I didn't know anything about any of that until just now. I just thought it was... They like like the VFWs and the legions and everything mm -hmm. like that. They've lost ground to social media groups mm -hmm. and other things like that. More community driven and less financially or donation driven type places. I mean, eventually okay. you get big enough and you are able to monetize what you have. Like, I mean, Drinking Bros is that way. You know, um, what's it called? I can't think. Spearhead. Okay. The only official group for Black Rifle Coffee on Facebook and Instagram, or Facebook and Twitter. Check it out. It's run by Justin Meather. Um, I actually told him that I put, I would put a link in the description. So that's down there for you guys if you're not joined into it. There's a Twitter community, and there's also a Facebook group. They're the only official groups by Black Rifle. Okay. Okay. None is looking around. Yes, look, I am none. trying so hard not to look at you. you it look. is really fucking hard. You to, when you, yeah, when you're okay. So here's the prop. The biggest problem that people have with you always looking at me is you go, you default to your resting bitch face. You're not smiling. You look like you're angry at me. I've the the videos. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the videos um, when I watch through it, like you're not ever, unless you don't like the specific topic or you're mad about my response. What? Yeah. ever yeah people think people think that uh, i can't help it i have resting bitch face get over it people think that you control me on this show <laughs> that couldn't be farther from the truth <laughs> we all know that you control me nah okay so here's my next topic and it just occurred to me when i was driving to the gym because okay. i drive on that stretch of market street from 40 right there okay and i got to the mlk intersection okay and all i could think about was the uh, dude that stole the bobcat a couple of oh, years ago. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was dry, I remember. Like, the, the lowest speed police mm -hmm. pursuit mm -hmm. like in history. Mm -hmm. um, bobcat, skid steer, whatever you want to call it. It was a bobcat brand skid steer, so I'm mm -hmm. going to say bobcat because mm -hmm. that's what we had when I was growing up. We had one that was wheeled and one that was tracked. Um, all I could think, though, was we need to come up with a way to – rebrand it and call it the kill cat because you have the killdozer the guy that went on the rampage in the oh, armored yeah i vaguely remember that yeah and uh uh what's his name whistling diesel is making another he actually i think the town's called granby he okay. actually he actually bought the same model which is really really hard to find okay. they're kind of rare and they're also massive he bought the same one put it on a low boy and then drove through the town where that happened and was stopping and interviewing people and asking them what they thought. Okay. And, and now he has it at his shop in, I believe he's in Tennessee or Kentucky. Um, and that's what they're, they're converting it. They're building the actual shell and they're going to turn it into a kill cat. No, no. Kill dozer. Kill dozer. Kill dozer. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Trying to follow the story here. But I thought it'd be funny mm -hmm. to make a Bob, since it's local to us, mm -hmm. the story happened here. The guy went on a, <laughs> because instead of, instead of it's showing like four miles per hour, yeah, yeah, instead of showing the cop cars, mm -hmm. we show like the cops walking. Right. Right. <laughs> yep. So no cops on bicycles. They're yeah, finally being yeah. put to use. Sternly wagging right. their fingers at them. <laughs> pull over. Yeah. Must pull over. Yeah. Kill cat. He only got like two or three miles, right? Yeah, because that rental place is right up. Yeah. Um, past the it's before you get to the new. And although bypass. they could have stopped him, yeah. they decided that the damage to their police vehicles was going to be too great if yeah. they got in front of him. Yeah. So it just wasn't worth it because yeah. he wasn't going anywhere. And he, I mean, <laughs> he he was driving really slow. Mm -hmm. He wasn't hurting anybody. Right. It was like a middle of the night, so there was nobody on the road. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I completely forgot about that until right now. Yeah. I wonder what happened to him. He's probably out of jail, too. I mean, hmm. we'll what out. happened to the random guy okay. who stole the bobcat in Wilmington, North Carolina, 
And in like what, 2020, 2019, 2018? Man acquires know. the name Bobcat Bandit. Okay. After driving a stolen uh, Bobcat. What year was it? 2020, March 5th. 2020. Okay. It was right at the beginning of COVID, right before everybody went crazy. Yep. An 18 year old <laughs> man is accused of leading multiple agencies on a unique pursuit through Wilmington area Wednesday night. Videos submitted by WECT viewers Sheldon Hamilton and Chris Gore show multiple law enforcement agencies. Uh, enforcement vehicles on College Road amid the blue police lights. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see the Bobcat pass with a trail of patrol cars behind it. Uh, Wilmington police said the driver operating the skid steer loader erratically, um, and that's when the sheriff's department began to pursue him. WPD became involved when the driver crossed into city limits. The chase went up Military Cutoff Road to Gordon Road to College to Lennon to Market and over to Cardinal before deputies subdued the subject near Inland Green subdivision. So for those that are not in our area, yeah, that's he was everywhere, everywhere other than where we are. Yeah, yeah. He was basically all over the northern part of town. Mm -hmm. that, I didn't even know he had driven that far. All and I then the I want, what, stuff. can you search what's happened to him now? Uh, this has not been updated. Okay. This is still, it's still the original article, which is kind of weird because typically they do follow up and say, yeah. click our other link. So mm -hmm. this, yeah. Uh, resisting delay, obstruct public officers, reckless driving, <clears throat> fail to heed lights and siren, no operator's license, impede traffic, sit, stand, lie on highway, fail to stop steady red light. All misdemeanor charges, nothing felony. Yeah, so he's he's for yeah, sure out, yeah, yeah. for sure. It's 2024. The fact that it's already May, like yeah. I'm, I I feel like it's still January. I don't yep. know. So there is a different article, and it's with one of the deputies explaining the reason for the long slow chase. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to read all this. It's, I mean, like you can't drive it on the road to begin with. So I mean, <laughs> idiot. Mm -hmm. The North Carolina Man of the Year. Right. <laughs> Swamp Man of the Year. Swamp Thing of the Year. Okay. Is that what we can call him? Sure. Sure. All right. Then, uh, so I've got a good, I've got a good taintism here. Oh. It's kind of, it's not one specific tweet. Okay. It's not one specific comment. Okay. It is, do you remember the GameStop stuff that happened a couple of years ago? No, I have no That's idea where what you're the, about. You ever heard the saying, Diamond Hands? and to the moon all nope. this so a lot of it were uh crypto traders crypto farmers that kind of stuff okay um and then people i don't remember the entire story with the whole gamestop thing basically they've been going under for a while okay and people basically were propping them up by continuing to buy 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 okay now andrew tate is essentially trying to convince people that the matrix has it out to get him and that all of this was a plan within the matrix to stop him and that he's woke and everybody's not. So he has in the last 24 hours or so okay. attempted to buy $1 million in shares for some reason. And I didn't see I didn't see a legitimate reason. All I saw was his reason. Mm -hmm. For some reason, they stopped trading on the stock. And he's like, see, they're trying to stop me. The Matrix is trying to stop me. And he's promoting. Or maybe he has insufficient funds. He yeah. can't complete the transaction. Yeah. He's too embarrassed. Yeah. So he's every tweet that was including this okay. was had a link to an alternative education startup. Okay. And it's the future of education. I'm not even going to plug it because it's so stupid. Should I be scared? No, what? it's just he's he's trying to start a school. Ew. Yeah. And that's how he's that's how he's promoting it by buying game stock stock. Like, sure. Let what? Me, let me send my kids to a to a school. What kind of bullshit logic is that? I'm going to send my kids to a school where the founder. Makes poor financial decisions. Seems perfectly logical. And being prosecuted for human trafficking yeah, and yeah. a whole bunch of yeah. other shady shit. Yep. yep. So that's your taintism. Okay. 
thank you for our daily taintism, Andrew. It makes me so happy. I know. Make sure that you do not become complacent to the matrix. Andrew Tate said so. Okay. Okay. Um, wanted to talk a little bit about our buddy Mike. Oh, and, okay. Uh, so anybody that's watching this, that's Drinking Bro from back in the day, um, Mike Russ, one of the original original admins of the old groups that were shut down. Um, he is currently in the hospital with multiple organ failure. Not looking great at this time. Uh, he's probably going to end up going through dialysis to see if they can um, recover or at least keep him stable until they can figure out what the next steps are. Um, he's been in, I guess, since last week. I got the call yesterday about it, but it was from a, a client that's also a friend. And because it was Mother's Day, I thought it was work-related, put it off till this morning, and then called him back and he told me this morning. So uh, if you know Mike Russ, um, give me your thoughts. He's not going to be able to respond to you. He's not innovated right now. At least I don't believe so. He's on um, essentially CPAP positive airway pressure machine uh, to help continue to you know pump higher concentrations of, of oxygen into his lungs. So reach out if you want to. Leave him a comment on his social media. Um, I've already reached out to JT and some of the other admins and stuff like that to let them know what was going on so they could post it. So if you guys are seeing it, well, you you should see that before you see this video. This won't go up until Thursday. Today's Monday. So um, that was that. And then I just had a couple of the random stuff that I pulled up because it was trending on Google search. Well, you know who we never talked about? Who? Reggie Bush. Okay. And how he got that. his Heisman Trophy back. So let's talk about that and okay. explain to all of us who are um, not football fanatics why it got taken away to begin with. So... He was taking money, um, and it's not a new phenomenon. I mean, every college student, especially in that era, was doing it in some way. Um, there, You couldn't have, like, endorsements like you could as a pro athlete. You couldn't be in commercials. You couldn't do that. However, mm -hmm. on the flip side of that coin, the NCAA was able to monetize your name, image, and likeness. Right. With, NIL. Yes. Right. So they had the NCAA football games, basketball games, they had the, you know, players, attributes, everything like that. And they're making money off of it. Mm -hmm. So this is all coming to a head right now. They're settling that for billions. Like, okay. I mean, to the brink where- so all the past players will receive a payout? Something, yeah. Okay. That's but good. It, it, I mean, it, yeah. they as they should. They were expected yeah. to do X, Y, and Z, sign autographs and yeah. be at events and things like that. And they weren't getting paid anything. So- I don't agree with why the trophy was taken from him to begin with. However, part so part of re receiving and earning and working for that trophy and award is not just your stats, but also your sportsmanship, leadership, your off-field activities. Okay. Things that make you a well-rounded player. Okay. The NFL's version of this is the uh, Walter Payton Man of the Year Award. Okay. Um. So the fact that they took it away for something that really wasn't an on-field thing, something that really wasn't a big deal. Right. They were primarily trying to make, set an example, mm -hmm. like not even the best player in the country can get away with this. So don't try. Um, but then the return of the trophy to him because of the rule reversal mm -hmm. is also kind of weird. Okay. It should have never been taken away. By setting the precedent that all of this other stuff that happened in the past, there's kids that, you know, lost their scholarships. Mm -hmm. There's kids mm -hmm. that were kicked off of teams. Mm -hmm. There's kids that legitimately couldn't pay their bills and everything like that because they weren't able to earn any money in their right. student athletes at the time. I mean, I would be pissed off. Mm -hmm. Like you. Like why him? Yeah. Not you, me. You impeded my ability to, uh, you know, succeed mm -hmm. only because you wanted to be the sole person gaining finance the ncaa used to have some of the dumbest rules for several different th so even the nfl still kind of does in some ways okay the nfl 
requires players all wear like the same cleats or the same color cleats or same style. You're not mm-hmm. allowed to have anything. Like your gloves have to be specific, everything like that. The NCAA used to require that players could only wear gray gloves. You couldn't wear like anything bright that might yeah. ex- obstruct somebody's view. No, no, no. Like what? No, they didn't want anybody to have personality. Ew. They didn't want you to be able to represent yourself or the cause that you wanted to or anything like that because okay. because they're the ones televising this and okay. paying for it. And they don't want it to come back as a bad look on them. For example, okay, this is actually kind of a good segue and it'll tie back in on this. Okay. Zach Bell, veteran with a sign, he took that whole stick, the guy that was walking around that had the cardboard sign and mm-hmm. had all the good stuff mm-hmm. on it. In like New York or something? Yeah. yeah. Zachary okay. Bell veteran marine corps veteran okay. did a similar thing and it was like positive messages for veterans like you'll okay. get through this this and that okay. now he's pretty big within the veteran community mm-hmm. and he has a uh an endorsement or sponsorship or whatever from this organization called ree medical or re medical i don't know okay what do they, they do they currently are under scrutiny from all kinds of places for violation of certain laws and codes that I don't know off the top of my head and I don't know the full details of them. But the VFW mm-hmm. has made it their mission to attack him personally over it. Okay. Essentially saying that So how does he, the VFW tie to re medical? Because the VFW part of their mission is helping veterans, you know, find these resources, get care, putting your mm-hmm. claims packet together, things like that. Okay. However, they're membership driven. So right. you do have to pay money to them. Mm-hmm. REE or re medical, you pay them part of your back pay for the claim. Oh. So it's a percentage, and then there, but there's no recurring transaction after that. Oh, so that's how okay. the Zill organization stays afloat is by taking a, a piece of what you get, but only in that. Sh- so in the long term, okay. you're still making money. Okay. You're basically paying for them to file. I'm not saying that this organization is good. I'm not saying that they're bad. I don't know shit about them. Okay. But I know that the VFW directly attacked Zach over it. Now, okay. This comes back to talking about the NCAA stuff. Mm -hmm. If you are an athlete Mm -hmm. and you get a sponsorship from a known quantity, a subway, for example, Mm -hmm. a lot of athletes do subway. Okay. Or any of these other organizations, probably nobody's going to bat an eye because everybody already knows, everybody already has an opinion about subway, whether they like them or not. Everybody, you know, will stick on to old stories and new stories. They'll talk about Jared. They'll talk about the tuna scandal, whatever. <laughs> then you're the only person I know who still eats Subway, by the way. You know, like once every other month. Disgusting. So disgusting. He basically what they what they've done is they've attacked him and said that you're the face of the organization. So even though he's not a mm-hmm. member of their organization, he's not an employee of the organization. He's he, just endorsed yeah. by them. Yes. Okay. And so they basically have gone on this tirade bashing him. Mm-hmm. So I made a post on Facebook about it mm-hmm. and everybody was saying, I don't get why Zach's off limits. I don't get what's I was like, that's not the reason why all the veteran community is defending Zach. Okay. Everybody, everything on the internet these days is some sort of ad. Everybody's promoting something. There's product placement. There's something going on. Mm-hmm. How many of them do you think actually vet any of those sponsors? Probably none. Nobody is doing any sort of due diligence. They want to jump on any amount of money that they can Mm -hmm. as fast as they can so that they can continue to buy whatever or grow their brand, reinvest it, whatever. Mm -hmm. So I'm not blaming Zach for this, but if we're going to try and hold Zach accountable for the organization who has sponsored him, Mm -hmm. and actually I just saw they sponsored Warrior Rising. Oh, that's cool. A Warrior Rising event. Oh, So Either way. Yeah. So you have, you have, essentially started, which I think is a good idea. Everybody should look into the stuff. Everybody should do due diligence. Mm -hmm. But that also means that a lot of people aren't going to get paid the way that they want Mm -hmm. because now they're going to be picking and choosing Mm -hmm. if they do that. And Mm -hmm. then you're going to get these small startups like our size or even larger that are just going to be like, oh, you couldn't find anybody else? Yeah, I'll take your money because they don't care. Gotcha. So- Basically, to the NCAA and to the NFL, Mm -hmm. they don't want any of the players promoting anything that they're not being paid for, for one. 
but anything that could also potentially tarnish or harm their image. That makes sense. So the NFL players can wear specific cleats in like the month of October or November, one of the two. For breast cancer awareness. Well, they all do that in October, yeah. Mm -hmm. And they do the gloves and stuff like that and some other accessories, mm -hmm. some uh, wristband or armbands, whatever. Mm -hmm. But specifically, they have the My Cleats, My Cause is what it's called. Oh, uh, but it's only for like one game, I think. I think they do it for like two weeks. They oh, do it like the okay. week before. I don't know. Obviously, I don't watch football, so they, I don't know. They do it like the week leading up to uh, Thanksgiving and Black Friday. and Because okay. that's Giving Tuesday is the following that Tuesday after that. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. So, if you're going to have that kind of energy attacking Zach, you should be attacking everybody and forcing them to actually look into their sponsors and donors and anywhere that these people get money from. What you got? You got something important? Not important. It's just funny. Okay. End it. End it. Yep. They're um, looking right at you. Would you like to guess how much Shaquille O'Neal pays for a pedicure? For a pedicure? A pedicure. How often does he get a pedicure? That's a great question, um, but I believe it's pretty regularly. Like daily, weekly? No, no, no. no, no. Pro probably at least once a month. Okay. Does he go somewhere special? Does this person come to him? Probably comes to him. I don't know the complete details. I know how much he pays. Five grand. Oh, um, okay. I don't know. You you you're you're close ish. You're okay. that's significantly higher than like a normal person would pay. I'd right. say like fifty dollars is considered okay. an average pedicure. Okay, but you're making a big deal about it, so I have to go high. Okay. He pays a thousand dollars and he says, and I quote because I know my feet stink. And he paints so them. So that's not what they charge. No, that's no. He, he he pays that because he knows they are doing a good service for his stinky ass feet. Gotcha. How long do you think that takes? Oh, probably a while. But he paints them with like glittery nail polish. You want to see what his toes look like? Not very good really, but sure. <laughs> Andrew's what face. The fuck? picture he did that was before he was getting his next pedicure okay. yes yes right. so um yeah he's he's got some stanky feet but he pays his pedicurist well gotcha. and, and thanks them for their service to his feet so that is that's is good that's my funny for the day <laughs> go look it up seriously go look it up it's fucking disgusting Pretty gross. I don't even know how that happens. <laughs> um, I mean, his feet are really large, and if they're crammed in there, He's that that, own, could, that can that shoes, can lead to deal. you get you get custom shoes made and stuff like that. Like there's yeah, that, his his toenail looks like somebody was gnawing on it. <laughs> How's that fucking happen? At least so. I don't have resting bitch face right now. So you guys yeah. will not say that I'm a terrible human being for about two and a half seconds. So Steve Buscemi, you know who he is, right? He's been in like is a bunch he, of Adam like, Sandler cra movies. Crazy and, Eyes? Yeah. That's yeah. all I know him as. Uh, he was randomly assaulted in Manhattan, his publicist said. Oh my gosh. So Have you seen that there's like a whole string of that going on right now? Just completely random assault yeah. Yeah. on the street and uh, completely, terrible. Completely out of left field. Uh, first recipient of kidney transplant from genetically engineered pig has died. Oh. The person has died. Oh. Uh, How long did they live for? I don't know. And it's paywall. So good job clickbaiting. I'm not paying for your shit. Mm. Uh, somebody from your the home country. Yeah. Uh, broadcaster is kicked out of Eurovision. Like some like the actual like. What is Eurovision? I think it's like. America's Got Talent for music, whatever. Well, is, I just saw that like, uh, Greta Thunberg, am I saying her last name right, was arrested for protesting in front of that? Yeah. But, like, what it's is Eurovision? Worst. I don't even know what Eurovision is. It's just like a singing competition. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Are you sure? Yeah. So, this mm. guy, I'm sure you don't know who he is, but I no, thought. No I thought idea. Juiced Klein. Yeah, no idea. <laughs> He's kicked out. Um, he reacted angrily after the Netherlands contestant in the Eurovision Song Contest was dramatically expelled from the competition hours before Saturday's final, 
Okay. Uh, over a backstage altercation that is being investigated by police. Okay. So that's fun. But I guess there's been a lot of controversy with that. There's a lot of uh, political and... Uh, stop knocking the table, dog. There's a lot of uh, the gender stuff and Palestine stuff and all that. Everybody's... Yeah, there's there's been like countries kicked out and barred from it and whatever else. Basically, it's just a political show with music as the side quest. Interesting. All right. Well, I've got another one. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to read a singles ad for you guys all. Singles ad from where? From Atlanta. No, no, from like... Oh, in a newspaper. Okay. Sorry, this is this is posted in a newspaper in Atlanta. Singles ad, the following ad appeared in the Atlanta Journal. Single black female seeks male companionship. Ethnicity is not important. I'm a very good looking girl who loves to play. I love long walks in the woods, riding in your pickup truck, hunting, camping, fishing trips, Cozy winter nights laying by the fire. Candlelight dinners will have me eating out of your hand. When you get home from work, I'll be at the front door wearing only what nature gave me. Call 404-555-1212 and ask for Daisy. You have the real phone number. Over 1,500 men found themselves talking to Atlanta Humane Society about an eight-week-old black Labrador retriever. Smart. That's really cute. Smart, very smart. So that was that was my funny, <laughs> my second funny. <laughs> very smart. Um, and then that actually leads me to something similar. And um, give me a second to pull it up. But there have been a couple of restaurants posing on dating apps to get single women to yeah. come into their restaurant. Oh, being ghosted. Yeah. The and then okay, here it is. Woman gets sta uh, stood up on a date, finds out the restaurant tricked her into eating dinner alone. Um, she had posted about it online. Multiple people came yep. forward saying it happened to me as well. Yep. Um, that's totally fucked up. Like, that's funny. It's fucked up. That's funny. That's fucked up. That's funny. The, the Labrador Retriever is cute. Some, they're paying that's some, fucked up. They're paying somebody to have conversations with these people. And what they're paying per hour probably is less than what the meal costs so they're probably losing money all mm -hmm. they're gaining is some sort of publicity something yeah. i don't know but people are probably banding together and saying i'm not going to go that chilies it's, or whatever the if, case if you may go be. we can't go anywhere without spending about 50 dollars per person okay together fair, fair so paying somebody to have a conversation on tinder or for, whatever wherever for however many days mm -hmm. Because they're not going to just, oh, hey, you look cute. Let's go to Chili's. <laughs> like, that's not that's not how it works for most people. Mm. Like, they're going to want to have back and forth. And they're going to mm -hmm. be like, oh, well, I'm busy that day. And so it's going to take some time. Right. Even if it only takes 10 hours of interaction, you're paying that person. Of interna interaction with probably 20 different people. They're maybe. not talking to one person. They're not exclusive. Maybe. maybe guarantee well didn't you say that there's a site where you could post are we oh are we person? dating the same person so, yeah <laughs> there you go that's that's funny seems like a quick and easy solution to mm -hmm. this problem maybe that's where she posted and maybe. and other people came forward oh yeah maybe. i was stood up by that same person what the fuck yeah it's gonna start showing up in their reviews too mm -hmm. oh i'm sure yeah. i'm sure good job I wonder, did it say who it was? Like, was it a big national? No. Just some local place? I didn't, I didn't see. Hmm. So, of course, you know, the the conspiracy theorists will tell you that we're controlling the weather and everything like that. Okay. So, the uh, severe solar storm that just hit a couple days ago okay. caused the aurora to dip all the way down into Mexico in some cases. First time in, like, forever that I can remember, at least. Okay. Um, it was people. It was visible here. The mm -hmm. light, the color of the light, was uh, dramatically more red shifted here, rather than like the. Except it was pouring rain, thunder, yeah, yeah, and lightning yeah. here yeah. that but, night, so we didn't see yeah. shit. But people around mm -hmm. where it wasn't raining had posted pictures of it, and it's very red. So it would have been cool to see if mm -hmm. we could have. It probably would have been cool to see if it would have come through the clouds, like if it was like a blood red sky while it was raining. That would have been cool. 
would have been very good. ominous. Yeah. Um, but of course, the same people that think the uh, chemtrails or contrails, mm. the jet exhaust, they're saying that the U.S. government, the U.S. military is responsible for it. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> that they uh, they forgot that they updated all the jets and they didn't notify the public in a timely manner to take shelter. Okay. There's a there's a set there's a group of people. Mm-hmm. That, Are these like flat earthers only? Yeah, they're yeah, like a yeah, whole other yeah. kind of crazy. There's a group of there's a group of people, mm-hmm. a large part of our population that doesn't very frequently see military vehicles. Oh, okay. The majority of the U.S. population doesn't live next to a military installation. Oh, they're next okay. to, like, I mean, we're between several pretty large ones, mm-hmm. and we still don't see them very frequently here. Other than when you drive past the armory, mm-hmm. that's. But that's normal in most cities and towns. There's an armory somewhere close by. Okay. It's usually on city limits. It's not usually you know, right next to downtown. But like the the you know, everything has to be shipped, right? New tanks have to be shipped across the country. They're built in one place. They have to be shipped somewhere else. Mm-hmm. The train is typically the fastest or, or at least the cheapest way. Mm-hmm. Um, depending on the route, they might get put you know, on a low boy. Everybody sees that periodically. But it's when there's a convoy of them. Mm-hmm. There, so there are contractors that don't actually build the vehicles. So AM General, when they built the Humvee, that mm-hmm. those were built in South Bend. Mm-hmm. There was another contractor, I think it was called Red River. They, I believe, were in Texas, and they did like refurbish, upfit. So they would take the old Humvees mm-hmm. and they would add new era armor to them. They would do engine swaps and upgrades, and then put them back out into the U.S. military fleet to wherever they needed to go. Okay. So you have like Oshkosh that builds a lot of the, uh, I think they build the LMTV as well, but they build the um, MRAP or baby MRAP or baby both, maybe both. Um, Then you have, you know, the M1 Abrams is built somewhere. You have all these vehicles that are built in different locations. And then they're being shipped to ports. They're being shipped, you know, to an installation because we also need to ship them to ourselves everywhere else that we are deployed into our station to. Mm-hmm. Every time it happens where there's some sort of convoy, people will post, oh my God, it's real. We're going to war. The uh, term that they use is called Jade Helm. Why? I, I, don't, I don't know the origin of Jade Helm, but essentially that's what people think. Like it's some dire emergency and they're like, I've never seen this before. Yeah. Because it's not like they're shipped every day. I mean, they are, but at the same time they aren't. Okay. Like even when when I lived next to AM General, Mm -hmm. the factory right there, only a couple miles from the uh, Elkhart rail yard, right? So they just, they would get in, drive Mm -hmm. them to the rail yard, Mm -hmm. throw them on the train. Like entire car lots full of Humvees. And people still thought, oh my God, I've never seen them before. Live here. What do you mean? (laughs) How do you think that your Ford F-150 got to your home? Do you think it teleported? Totally. It was trained to somewhere and then put on the back of a truck. And then the truck took it to the dealership. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what happened. Just, there's nobody screaming that Ford is launching a war. But it's just, it, it's weird. I don't know. Um, mm-hmm. On that note, too, actually, uh, I guess seven, I think it was seven service members just died. They didn't secure their uh, cargo load in their, I think it was a C-17. No, was it? I don't remember. I read it on Twitter. I didn't read all the details. But they didn't secure the load correctly. So as they took off and broke loose and flew to the back of the plane and broke some of the controls. And so they were stuck in this uncontrollable maneuver. And the plane came back down and crashed and killed everyone. That's so sad. Yeah. So make sure you check your straps. Tie your equipment down. That's so sad. Yeah. But stuff like that happens like all the time. Mm -hmm. That's why the military is so tedious and redundant. Mm -hmm. Somebody has to check something, check something, check something. Whoever the loadmaster was or whoever else within that logistics unit and everything like that they're going to have some issues. You know, they're going to be retrained and 
it's going to be a long time before they will be out from under a microscope because stuff like that, you know, a, a small, you know, something small like that can lead to bigger problems mm -hmm. and neglect and things like that are, are a real issue. So, um, obviously that's the same sad that it happened. We need to fix our military. We need to kind of get back to some structure, quit playing politics, quit playing games. Let's get back to the basics. Fundamentals. Keep people alive. Keep people safe. There's absolutely no reason that people should be dying in training in the United States. Which I did just see that somebody was just shot um, special operations out of Fort Bragg. Yeah, uh, some... I don't know if it was selection or what. It was some some training scenario, and they were supposed to be using blanks, and one of the soldiers was shot. So with this a, is an Alec Baldwin situation again. Should not have been any live rounds. So that's that's everyone's responsibility. That's whoever is operating. Or was it intentional? Uh, well, he's not dead. So if it was intentional, they fucked up. They don't. It'll come back around. Don't shoot your battle buddy. So, do we have anything else today? Did you learn anything it. this week? Did you learn anything? Do you learn anything ever? When's the last time you learned something? I don't know. My, every, brain, my brain is not working. For today. every one thing that I learn, my brain deletes five. <laughs> so I'm I'm on a fast clip to nothing this soon. Very fast. Anyway, so that's it. Yeah, that's, I'm just the show. I'm just thinking about all the basement trolls who uh, say that I'm a dominatrix and destroy destroying your life and whatever else you said. Oh yeah, they're they're you said they're beautiful. destroying me online. That's all you told me. What's funny is I would have thought that they would be like, Oh, she's cute or whatever, like like, nope. oh he's an ugly piece of shit. Why would you be with her? But no, it's everybody <laughs> everybody hates you. Hey, whatever happens, happens. The handful of women have said that you're cute or pretty. Thank you for the three women followers. I appreciate you. For all you other trolls, go fucked. That's it? That's it? I said that's it a couple times now. All right. All right. You guys are listening to this on Thursday, correct? Yep. Check out check out the website. Get yourself some uh, some some stuff. We don't have anything up there yet. <laughs> You can donate to the show on there. Yes. You can check out. Donate and you get a shout out. Oh, yeah. we do have one thing to say. We hit, our, we hit our 100 subscribers on YouTube. Yeah, that's going to be when we film on Friday. When we film on Friday, we will have the random number generator. We'll do it on the show. Okay. So yeah. this is leading up to that. Yeah. We have hit our 100. Yeah. And as of recording this, 161, I believe. Okay. So. Share with your friends. Yes. As I've said before, share with your grandma. Share with your priest. Share with... Line go up, as yeah. you say also. Line share, go up, make your share, pee, pee up. Share the show with uh, the whatever the angry mothers group that you know on Facebook is. Moms Against Boobs. Share with them. <laughs> Why? Because. Get them upset so that they... Well, apparently it's trolls in the basement that hate my boobs. Okay. Bye, everyone. <laughs>